Welcome back to another Windows 10 tip. Um, if you recently upgraded to Windows 10 or you've been sort of reading about the upgrade process, there have been a number of blog posts about a setting in Windows that allows Windows itself or, or allows Microsoft to, in a way, share your bandwidth when it's helping other people to up, upgrade their versions of Windows. It's a bit like a BitTorrent type option. Now, of course, some tech blogs came out and sort of screamed gloom and doom that this was a terrible thing. And, um, you know, really, I think a lot of clickbait went on as well as trying to explain exactly what Microsoft were doing. I think if there were the area that Microsoft made a mistake in was that they didn't either leave it off by default or didn't really explain to people uh, what was happening. So it's buried a little bit um, in the settings here, but we'll go through and I'll show you how, if you wish to turn this particular option off, how you can do that. So we go down to the new start menu and we go to settings. And once we've got settings, you can see all the settings um, options up there now. And we've got, we go to update and security because it's part of the update windows process we you see that you you see you've got now windows update windows defender etc etc windows update advanced options so you can see it is buried a little bit advanced options and then then you go down to choose how updates are delivered and this is the menu that you want to look for and there you have it updates from more than one place now i've already turned this off um, but it was on by default. And basically when it's on, what it means is when your computer is idle and not, you know, not doing anything and Microsoft is pushing out more Windows up updates, it can use some of your excess bandwidth or, or to sort of push out the updates. And I think some of that, it's a bit like, you know, if any of you have used BitTorrents that you sort of share um that with other people. Now, you know, a lot of people may not be on high data caps and so things like that might influence it. So certainly if that's the case and you're a bit concerned, just follow the steps that I've given you here in the video and you can switch it off and you won't be worried about it anymore. But don't be sort of shoehorned or panicked by some of the blogs and some of the posts that came out making it sound like, you know, it was the end of the world as we know it. So there it is, just another little tip on how to keep Windows secure um, and how to shut off um, updates from more than one